Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today we are checking back in with this beautiful bromeliad that have another care video on when it had a nice bloom. And now I'm going to show you what to do when the mother plant stops blooming uh, in order to have a lot more plants that will then bloom for you. So what happens is once the mother, which is right here, is done blooming, and you can see the, some of the remnants of her bloom in here, uh, once that's done, sadly she w is not going to produce any more blooms for you. But what she does produce for you is a bunch of what are called pups, you can think of them as babies. So you can see these plants around the edges here that have grown in around her. Those are her pups. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take the pups off and pot them up so that they can then produce uh, beautiful uh, flowers, which are also known as bracts, uh, like the mother. These are, are exact clones of the mother plant. So they will produce that beautiful uh, bract, which you want, if you want to call it a flower, but it's essentially a, a technically a bract. Uh, and um, like the other plant, I'm going to put a photo here of the other plant there so you can see how pretty it is. And then I have a video um, that shows you that the, 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 the mother when she was blooming as well. So what you want to do is you want to wait until the pups here are one third to a half the size of the mother plant. So you can see that's pretty much the case now for a lot of these guys. Some are a little bit smaller than others. Uh, they're definitely, I was waiting till these grew uh, well up like this. Definitely time though to get these pups out of there. If I just kept it like this, some of these pups may produce the flower, but they may not because they're so, they're, they do, the, the, this plant, uh, the, is a bromeliad, it's in the pineapple family. They do like to be in tight quarters, uh, but they, in order to get blooms from each of these guys, I really need to get them in their own separate pots. So also keep in mind, the longer you keep the pup in here, the bigger it gets, the quicker it will reach maturity once you re take it out take it away from the mother plant and repot it. So I should prob should get bracts on these guys probably within to three, four, four months-ish, somewhere in there. I should have some bracts. It could even be sooner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that process right now with a couple of them for you to see the, um, the process here. Now, one thing you can do when you're doing this, you can use a rooting hormone on them as well because some of them don't have as much of a, um, uh, as much of a, a root system as other ones. And I did not bring my rooting hormone, so I'm gonna go get that. Okay, I am back with the rooting hormone. So this is rooting hormone. And what it does is when you place it on an area where there's just a little bit of roots or even no roots, it will uh, help the plant create its own roots. So I would suggest using that when you're doing this procedure. You could do it without it. You may have luck, but you may not have luck. So this is a really good way to help make this successful. Put some in this cup here because I'm gonna be dipping it in there. You do wanna make sure you don't inhale this, so be careful. Rooting hormone is not something that you, something that you want to be careful with. Okay, so as mentioned, we have this, uh, this um, plant here, and um, it is uh, a bunch of pups. I believe I counted there's six. This was originally, this was recently watered. I would suggest watering the soil before you do this. Uh, just to give the plant to, to, to have some moisture in it, uh, which will help because one of the things you do want to do when after you do transplant these pups is you do want to keep them uh, warm and you want to also keep them on the moist side. So high moisture, uh, 
that, so that that sort of thing to keep to get them to, to create roots for you okay so here we are what you want to do is take a knife a sharp knife this is a serrated knife long handled and you're going to what I'm going to do is cut the pups away from the mother plant this is similar to something you would do when dividing a plant so of course you have to identify the mother plant right so this is the biggest one right here and I'm going to be cutting away her children here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side here. You wanna cut as close to her as possible because you do want to get as much of the root system as possible. It may take a little bit of, of uh, cutting here. So you wanna be careful when you do this and you want to have some patience so don't be ripping on it pulling on it you're just gonna it, what roots they do have you will cut you will pull right off okay so still cutting here okay we've got this these guys separated so as you can see the side here this is three pups right here and as you can see they do have a bit of a, of, of a root on them too which is nice so that will help them uh, grow more quickly and then produce some um, some some flowers more quickly too. These I am going to going to go ahead and continue to separate, and eventually I will show you when these pups do decide to bloom a, new, a pup a new pup pup that is blooming. I'm cutting through here as, as straight down as possible. So now I've got a nice one here. And if you can, you can jiggle it a little bit to pull the roots apart as well. Trying your, what you really, really obviously, ideally want to do here is have some roots on that. So this has a nice set of roots. If this was a, a, a smaller pup, it would have less roots. I did, like I mentioned, let it go for a while. It's probably going to be a little bit difficult to, to put it into this, so I'm going to need to put this into something a little bit bigger, which I will do, uh, so that I can also just set it in there to get a little bit of the root, uh, the rooting hormone on the bottom of the plant. Put it in these pots. These pots have holes, but actually, I've got this big guy here. I'll use this. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. And set it in there, get it a little bit of the rooting hormone on the roots. This is going to allow the plant to really start growing. Now, going to, generally speaking, like a four inch pot, what you want is you do not want, as I talk about with everything, you do not want too much excess soil in there. So this is about a four inch pot here round this looks like it's going to do really well so i'm going to take this out set it in here for now again this soil i prepared with uh, my green gourmet house plant food with my and also perfect pumice so you want a lot of drainage for bromeliads as i mentioned in the video on growing them i also added worm compost and i added a little bit of rock dust as well to give the plant some uh, some nutrients once it does start growing to to grow that beautiful flower okay so put about half full there putting this guy in and then we're going to go ahead and put the soil around him now you technically the bromeliads, they, you're supposed to be watering in the center here. Problem with that is if you live in an area where there are mosquitoes, you will have mosquitoes in there. So when you're growing them indoors, you can water, you can, you can spray them, mist them, so they will take in some of the water that way, but they're not gonna have that big pool of water in there. And then you can also water the soil itself and that is okay. It's a, a, so something you definitely want to do as the roots are forming here so that the plant is, uh, is going to form more roots and then and be able to grow another flower for you. So you want to keep 
the plant moist but never soggy so a little uh, so some moisture as I mentioned we also want to um, keep them uh, in, a, in a warm area and a humid area as possible um, and, uh, and over watering the, 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 these pups though as I mentioned could cause them to rot so you definitely want to err on the side of keeping it m slightly moist and, and in a warm area definitely not soggy but that there is and once you start to see some new growth in the leaves that's going to tell you yay that the plant is definitely producing um, new leaves which means it's established which means it's going to continue to grow once it gets bigger when the top part here is more than two-thirds of a top to one-third of a pot then you go up one pot size so you're not going to want to go up too much bigger but i would want to go up to this pot size most likely the next pot size up you see that's not a huge amount because once again if you have it in too much wet soil you are going to end up with a dead pup and the mom won't be real happy with you. Okay, so uh, we are have another couple guys here to separate. Another thing you could do too is with scissors at this point. So with gardening shears, cut them apart as well. Now this one's a little bit bigger, so I can probably go with a little bit bigger of a pot. This pot looks like it's gonna be good. It's slightly bigger than the other one. So same process again, dipping in the rooting hormone, putting in this great soil that I prepared. Um, I like to use ProMix um, is one of my favorites. Um, Happy Frog is another good one too, has some good ones too. I'll put links below. So you put this in here, like you're seeing, and then we're gonna add some soil. Now, sometimes these guys are kind of top heavy. So in that case, if that happens, you wanna put it in something, that's why I have these guys here, something that's gonna keep them up so they don't fall over and your repotting that you just did goes to, goes to heck. Um, I'm also gonna water them both just a tad as well. And you can also use stakes. You can stick stakes, stakes in, skewers in, uh, plant stakes in to hold them up. But these guys are staying up fairly well on their own here. So do pack in. You don't want the soil to be too packed because you do want some air. But you don't want it um, too loose where they're going to be falling over either. So I'm going to water this one. Get it a little moist there. You could put this under a humidity dome uh, in an aquarium sort of a situation as well. Just make sure that you don't see any fungal fungus growing or anything. That, that means it's too moist. But the moister, more humid environment you can keep it for it, the better. Uh, in terms of lighting, you want medium bright light. Medium light is OK. Uh, you definitely don't need to put it in a really uh, <coughs> bright uh, window or anything like that. Okay, so you can see I have it in this container here, which is going to hold it up nicely so that it won't get, so if it does get a little wobbly, it's not going to fall over. <coughs> when you are done, I will afterwards finish with planting these guys. I think you guys get the, 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 uh, the gist here. What you want to do is you want to, I'm going to finish taking these off and then the mother plant I'm going to put back into a pot, and maybe this pot or maybe a little bit smaller of a pot. And what will happen is she will continue to put off new pops. So we can continue this. She can continue to make babies. I can continue to pot up the babies, then uh, continue to have more flowers and just keep going. And then those plants get bigger and you can see where this is going. So after a while, you could have all kinds of these plants that you could be giving to all of your gardening friends as well. So that covers this on how to, uh, to do this. Uh, please leave any questions below, of course. And do have fun with your your uh, bromeliad pups and it's extremely exciting when you see those flowers forming and they will be formed they will form in the center of in the center here they will start to form so you can be peeking in there if you start to see a little color in there that tells you that they are forming and that you will have some beautiful uh, uh, bromeliad flowers to enjoy 
Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell to be notified when new videos are released.